Hello everybody, it is Michael Brownstein from the Food and Wine Life channel and I'm here with the beautiful Eva Clay. And today we are going to be doing a wine review on Camus. And neither one of us has tried this before, but there is a lot of uh, hype and a lot of good reviews on it. And uh, we're excited to try it for ourselves. So I'm going to open it and we're going to get into it. So Camus is a uh... California Napa Valley wine from the Wagner family, Wagner Wines. They also make one of our favorites, Bonanza, that's our daily drinker, um, Canandrum, and much more. Uh, it's, um, it's a great quality wine overall. I was never disappointed with anything that I tried from Wagner family wines. And uh, Miami first was produced by Cayman, uh, by uh, Wagner family and and then it got sold to somebody else i don't really remember who it was sold for but that used to be my favorite long long time ago all right so i've got this wine opened up and i'm going to give the beautiful miss Eva a pour and we're going to talk about it oh it has a beautiful rich color i was watching mike pouring it it's thick, it has nice thickness. It does have a nice color mm -hmm. to it. Yes, very nice, deep, purpley red. Um, looks, oh, it's a very deep color. I love the color. Well. Yeah. Oh, I already smell the yeah, I like dark it. fruit. Vanilla, a little bit like, it's very, like it is. sweet bread. It's very, Brioche. I can definitely smell the, uh, the fruits on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe dark cherry or black currant or something. There's some kind of fruitiness to it. Yeah. It's, it actually. Probably look cassis, look chocolate. Yeah, it's got, a, it's got a good smell to it for sure. I'm really excited about this one for sure. Yeah. To be trying this one. Oh yeah. It's, it's very pleasant on the nose. Um, it doesn't really change much. It uh, smells like ice cream topping. Yeah, it does. It does smell mm -hmm. real. It smells sweet, so. Yeah, it smells sweet, delicious, berries, fudge, yeah. vanilla. When, yeah, we are, we are huge fans of Bonanza, which is from mm -hmm. the same company, and uh, so we've been really excited to, to try this one for a while and we just never have. Um, Every time we tried to buy it, it was out of stock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we and, finally got one. Yeah, <laughs> this was the last bottle on the shelf. Yes. It was the very mm -hmm. last bottle yeah. on the shelf, which... Um, which probably that speaks volume for yeah. itself. And um, we paid about 85 for this bottle mm -hmm. right here. So yeah. let's, give it, right. let's give it a little taste. Mm -hmm. taste. Yeah. We're ready. Wow. Full of fruit. It is, but it's, you're it, drinking a real wine. Yes. Oh. Definitely. Oh, a lot of red, red and dark fruit, like a compote with fudge. It, it tastes similar to what it smells like. Yeah, it, uh, it has a... Uh, really good. It's actually a rich Cabernet. For sure. Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, you know you're drinking a Cabernet, 100%, in my opinion. And tenants are delicate, smooth, silky. Yeah, and it's only been there out a few minutes, so. Yes, it, it really doesn't really need um, yeah, this would definitely be a great anniversary wine or something. And speaking of anniversaries, this is our fifth uh, month of being engaged anniversary. So yes, cheers to that. To that beautiful Miss Eva. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so we decided to kind of do this review when we've been really wanting to try this for a long time. And so. Oh yeah, yeah. This, this is really, really nice bottle of wine. Now it opens up with the earthy cones. It did, it's opened mm -hmm. up a lot already. And, um, 
we're actually gonna cook some steaks to serve with this. So mm -hmm. tonight. So nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. we should. Oh, we should try to make make a little maybe another video. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna try some steaks with this and um, see how that comes out. Yeah, for sure. this would be great with steak. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a, a very, very, very good bottle of wine. This bottle of wine stands up on its own as a great drinker by right. itself. It doesn't really need food. I mean, um, doesn't really need, I, I, I think food even might take away from it. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great bottle. Definitely lives up to the hype. Um, I would definitely buy it again. I, I think it would be great with real nice dessert. Anything from creme brulee to chocolate cake yeah. to almost anything. I it can see be, that. I can right? see that for sure. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, it's definitely a great anniversary wine for sure. Yes, that's for sure. So it's uh, like I said, we're we're both huge fans of Bonanza. We buy that all the time. Bought conundrum several mm -hmm. times over the years, and this one right here, yeah, is a tremendous um, bottle of wine, and it does live up to the hype. Mm -hmm. So, oh, definitely, definitely, very nice. If, if you would um, characterize a wine like a person, I would say very nice, polite, sweet. Yeah. Right. It's a very elegant, elegant bottle of wine. But it's not, it's not, it's not jammy. No, it's it not, is not jammy. jammy at all. It is bold. It's bold. It's a, bold I've heard bold um, this, um, as an expression to describe mm -hmm. this wine, and it is bold. Bold, fruity, yeah, but it's not jammy. It's not jammy. It's not like mm -hmm. drinking sugar water or nothing. It's, yeah. it's definitely a real bottle of Cabernet Savion, and yeah. we'll definitely buy this again. True. Mm -hmm. And happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, sweetie. And on that note, All right. until next time. Nazdravia. Cheers.